Hi, everybody. Lynn Schulte here, founder of the Institute for Birth Healing. And I would like to talk to you today about um, what's really important in the assessment of diastasis recti. So whether you're a mom or whether you're a practitioner, I want us all to change our area of focus because we used to be really focused in on the length of the diastasis, how, how wide is the diastasis, and um, how deep is it. So if you remember, this is, this is our rectus abdominis muscle. This white line here is the linea alba, the connective tissue holding these muscles together again. And this is diastasis recti. So this is a separation of these recti muscles. And this linea alba has gotten stretched out. So now that these muscles are held wider apart, this connective tissue is deeper than it should be. And there's also a link. So our initial assessments used to be that we would see a uh, test to see how far apart of those muscles, how deep does that connective tissue go, and how long is that diastasis. Now, while those can be important kind of landmarks or a starting point, I want us to really get away from how far apart are those muscles and how long is it and all that. We really need to focus in on is there tension being generated between these muscle bellies? Is there tension being being generated in this linea alba tissue to make sure that that tension can translate between those two muscles. That's the function of it. That's what it is there for, is to help generate tension between these two muscle bellies. And if it can do that, then great. That's what we want to focus in on. And so, um, so many women come to me and they're just like, oh, I have a two finger diastasis. And you go to assess them and there's no depth to it. It's taut, there's, you know, yes, those those muscles are being held a little bit apart, but there's no depth to it. And so it's not, I don't really consider that a true diastasis. And so I want us to focus away from saying, I have two fingers and I'm, I'm deep or shallow. I want us to focus in on the function of that linea alba. And when you go to engage your core, you lift up your head, you engage your core, can you feel tension being generated in that linea alba? Can you feel tension underneath your fingers as you hold it there, as you go to assess it? Can you feel tension being generated there? That needs to be our focus. And we need to train moms to be able to challenge that tissue to help it to heal. And so we need to get away from this fear mongering with, you know, telling moms, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Yes, we do want to minimize the doming, the, the straining of that connective tissue where it bulges out in the midline. You know, ideally we don't want that, but if you don't occasionally, it's not the end of the world, okay? So we need to help our moms get away from this idea that I shouldn't be doing anything because I might hurt my diastasis. And that's really not the case. If you think about what created that diastasis in the first place, it was a sustained pressure over nine months. And um, that's what caused that tissue to really strain. An occasional strain is not going to hurt it. What does hurt it though, is that not knowing when you are straining the muscle and tissue and you're putting a constant strain on it all the time. That's not gonna help it to heal. So we really want to um, work on um, engaging the belly so that we take the strain off of that connective tissue and we can really help moms to activate their core in a way that will support the, the tissues coming together and that connective tissue shortening and being able to generate tissue for tension from one side of the body to the other side of the body. And so um, that's where I really want our focus in on, is there tension being generated in that connective tissue or not? And that needs to be the main focus of our diastasis assessments and not so much your two fingers, your four fingers, your six fingers, your, you know, this length and that. That can be helpful because it can show you that, oh, it's getting smaller, it's getting better. But when you get down to that two, three finger separation, you know, one to three separation, it can be really hard to feel the change and or the 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 change in that 
distance because research is showing us that sometimes that distance can get bigger as we go to activate our core. So um, that's why we don't want to focus so much on the, the separation as much as the function of it, okay? And whether or not it's causing any problems. There's a lot of separation. If you looked at my belly, you would say, oh yeah, she has a, a diastasis because they're not apart. They're not totally together. And there is a little bit of, of play in there, but it's functional. And that's really the key. Is it functional or not? Okay. So help. If, if your mom listening into this, please try to get off of the idea that your width and your length and your depth is so, so important because it's not <laughs> in the general scheme of things. And if you're a practitioner, please focus in more on the tension being generated in that linea alba as your assessment tool um, when you're working with your moms, okay? All right, good luck everybody and take care, bye-bye.